Uh, driving. Hello, mm. good evening, everybody. How okay. are you today? Good evening, good evening. Oh. How nice was your weekend? You nice to see you again, teacher. Nice to see you again, my dears. How was your teacher? Thank you, thank you. Okay, I mean, how was your weekend, my dears? Uh, very nice. Everything okay? Very, very nice. nice. Yes. Excellent, thank you. So welcome, let's see. I'm just checking, hello, uh, Elvin, hello, Arlen, hello, Dennis, hello, Rene, Lily, Lily, yes, Lila, Lila. Okay, Patricia, Emerson, Juan Campos, Gabi, hello. Fernando. Hello. Good evening. Okay, good to have you here, my dears. <clears throat> okay, we are going to continue. Uh, we are starting our uh, week number two. So remember that this week we are going to go a little bit faster than the uh, previous week that we were adapting to this model. And for today, we are going to, I'm going to show you in a platform uh, which part we are going to be working, okay? So for this week, it's expected that we finish the section number two and also the section number three until the midterm exam, okay? Uh, so that's the, um, the assignment for this week. So today we are going to continue with, uh, if you remember last class, we studied this and this, right? And uh, today we are going to continue with um, yes, no questions, yes, no, and where questions with B, and advance a little bit with the preposition, right? Prepositions um, of place in this case. Okay, so for tomorrow, we are going to um, respect that we finished the section number two, and then we are going to study all the section number three, okay? Number three, the yes. section number three, <clears throat> we are going to talk about yes, no questions, but also we are going to introduce um, negative statements, statements and yes, no questions with B, uh, also syllable stress, numbers and ages, and also WH questions with P, right? Remember that we continue giving feedback uh, regarding to verb B. And then uh, we finish, and that's all in order to be ready for the exam. So for today, let me open the lesson objective in order to show you. And then we will go to the presentation that I have prepared for you tonight, okay? Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, in the 2.5 lesson objective, says by the end of this class, you will learn how to form yes, no, yes and no, and where questions would be, okay? So um, we are going to ha uh, have in a platform this video. In this video, you will learn questions with verb B by using this and these, right? Because those are structures that you already know, they are the demonstrative pronouns, this, for singular uh, close objects and these for plural close objects, okay? <clears throat> so, uh, then we will go to the 2.7 lesson objective. In this case, you uh, need to manage uh, the correct form of verb to be, right? At the beginning of the sentence. And remember that if you have any difficulty, you can write me to me to the WhatsApp group and I can help you, okay? or even uh, you can help each other. So the 2.8 lesson objective says that in this class you will learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects, okay? Yes. And in order to do this, you have uh, like a box in this video and then you have some keys and the um, exercise is about saying the positions of the keys regarding to the, bo to the uh, box. So something like that, we are going to continue learning and we are going to have some exercises and conversation. And then we expect to uh, complete until 2.10 uh, knowledge check, right? Uh, in this case, you have to open this window, right? And you will go to a more expanded view of this. And then you can answer the questions here. In the other case, you have to uh, open the pop-up, uh, the window, open this arrow, and then it, it will lead you to a pop-up window where you can uh, download the audio and then you continue practicing your listening 
for this exercise, okay? So, um, we are going to stop here and then tomorrow we continue with uh, the next part of the section two in, all, in order to finish before we start the section three, okay? So let me open the presentation. So I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to let you see this before I can go to my presentation that I have for you tonight. Okay, so. Okay, we are going to go to um, the six, and for this, for me, is a, a class number six, yes, no questions. And then we will go to prepositions, okay? So let me open the presentation and let me share. I'm going to give you a new share. Okay. Okay, can you watch my screen now? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. regarding to um, the yes, no questions, we already studied the yes, no questions with B, right? And you already know that in order to have a statements or affirmative sentence with verb to be, basically what we have to do is to use the right conjugation of verb to be. And, and for example, you say, I am a doctor, or you can contract and say, I'm a doctor. You are correct, or you can say, you're correct. You can contract this part, right? He is from England, or his from England. She is busy or she's busy, it is a cat, or it's a cat. Mm -hmm. We are ready, or we are ready, or we're ready. You are hungry, or you're hungry. They are the same, or they're the same, okay? So those are, are the statements. For the negatives, you have to add the particle not, which is in yellow color here, and then you say, I am not a doctor, so I'm saying that the contrary, right? I'm, I'm saying that I'm not. Okay, you're not correct. He's not from England. He's not busy. And you can say also, um, he's not uh, from England. She's not busy. It is not a cat or it's, it's, it, is, it isn't a cat, right? We are not ready or we aren't ready. Okay, so I'm going to, okay, yes. Uh, we are not ready or we, we, we aren't, right? We aren't. We are not hungry or in this case is you. You are not hungry or you aren't hungry. They are not the same or they aren't the same, okay? This is the negative statements. What happened for the yes, no question? And if you remember, I was saying to you that yes, no questions are when you only have two choices, right? Yes, I am, or no, I'm not, right? They are not asking for more information. You only have to say yes or no. For example, am I a doctor? You can say, yes, I am. No, I am not. Are you correct? Yes, you are. No, you aren't. Is he from England? Yes, he is. Or no, he isn't. Is she busy? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Is it a cat? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Are we ready? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Are you hungry? Yes, you are. No, you aren't. Are they the same? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. So this is the structure, right? I, um, it was necessary for me to go uh, again to the structure in order that you could see what we were working on and then, um, those are some examples and I would like you to see. Are these, look, in here I'm using the, the demonstratives for uh, closed objects plural. Are these Thomas blocks? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. I'm taking the same structure of the B, yes, no questions, but in this case I'm using the demonstratives, right? If you remember the demonstratives, these for, singular, for plural, 
close object and this for close singular, only one. Is this an stone? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, no questions with the most of these. Are those your shoes? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. In this case, I'm including the plurals, right, for far objects. The plural demonstrative for far objects. Is that your umbrella? Yes, it is. No, it isn't, okay? So those are the yes, no questions with demonstrative pronouns. Again, this, this, those, and that. Okay, here I have more. So just let me move here. Okay, what about uh, yes, no questions with B, but contracted, okay? Um, it says answer this, uh, answer this kind of yes, no questions with yes or no, followed by the subject. As I was saying, this is a structure, okay? Followed by the subject and verb B plus not. Notice that we can use apostrophes. We cannot use apostrophes with positive answers though, okay? You say, yes, I am. You cannot, uh, sometimes you say, yes, uh, I'm not, but with yes, I'm, it's not possible, right? You can almost have to say, always have to say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. With a negative, you can do it. But uh, with a personal pronoun, I, you cannot contract this way, right? You say, no, I'm not, if you want to contract. Yes, you are. Yes, you're. In this case, you can say, but it's not like the best way. No, you aren't. That's the, the way it is, okay? Yes, he is. You don't, sometimes you say, yes, she is, but it's informal, right? You normally say, no, she isn't. This is the way it is, okay? So now here are the questions. Am I late? Yes, you are. No, you aren't. Are you late? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is he, she, it late? Yes, it is. Yes, he or she or it is. Or no, she, he, it isn't. Are we late? Yes, we are. Yes, you are. No, you aren't. Are, are you late? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Are they late? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. So again, those are uh, examples of how to ask closed questions, like answers possible only yes or no. Okay, let me go. And I have an, an exercise for you here, okay? In these boxes, in these colored boxes, it says, exercise, write the questions and affirmative and negative answers for each, okay? So for example, they friends. What do you think that it could be the answer? They friends. What do I have to do here? How do I, how do I formulate the question according to the structure? If I'm talking about they, which is the correct form of the verb to be? Let's see. Veamos, ¿cuál sería la forma correcta del verbo to be para they? Are they you? Are, uh, are they? Yes, that's, that's it. Uh, are, so let me just erase this in order to write it. Oh, oops. Mm, who are they? No, estamos haciendo preguntas de sí o no con el verbo to be. Y ya vimos en las estructuras que estamos repasando que utilizamos el verbo to be in, al, in, al inicio, ¿verdad? Donde decimos, are they your are they friends? Your friends. Right? Es una pregunta cerrada. ¿Son ellos tus amigos? Yes or no? Sí o no? No hay más información que nos hayan pedido. No dice, who are your friends? Si dijera, who are your friends? Entonces yo tendría que decir, He is my, uh, this is my friend Peter and this is my friend John. Porque me están preguntando, ¿verdad? ¿Quiénes son? But in this case, they are not answering who, ask, asking who. They are asking, are they your friends? Solo me están preguntando, ¿son ellos sus amigos? ¿Posibles respuestas? Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, they are. O no. Yes, Entonces vamos a, vamos no, a hacer, aren't. let me, let me do, let me do the, the affirmative. Si yo tuviera que contestar afirmativamente, ¿cómo tendría que decir? 
Yes, they are. Yes, ¿verdad? Yes, they are. Hasta ahí. Y eso significa sí, ¿verdad? Sí, ellos son. Un sí. Eh, así, ¿verdad? Hasta ahí. In the negative answer. No, they, they aren't. They are not. Si fuera they la forma not. completa. Y si fuera la forma contractada. No, they aren't. No, no they, aren't. they aren't. Y con eso lo que estoy diciendo es no. ¿Verdad? No son mis amigos. No, they aren't. Perdón, they aren't. Excuse me, teacher. I have a question. Yes, tell me, please. Okay. Uh, the, the complete the test in the... Uh, uh, the complete the test, I have problem. Uh, only contraction, but it's, it's okay. But right, the, 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 the complete, a young example, am. Uh, but am is correct, but a young is correct too, but the, the, the test, no, it's okay. It doesn't accept it. Okay, yeah. you try the full form. In the platform, uh, they accept like two or three of three ways. They accept the, the complete or they accept with the contraction. Add what happened with the contraction and I will show you. If you don't know which is the right symbol, there's a problem. Because if you write another symbol, which is not the apostrophe, there's going to be a problem. Okay. So you need, to, you need to make sure that you're using the right symbol for the apostrophe. Yes. But, but 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 it's a problem. No, it's a apostrophe. It's the not because of the apostrophe. Is, okay. No, it's a, it does, it's a complete. I, I, example, I am. Is mm -hmm. no, it's correct. You have to write I'm in this case. I'm. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm is correct. That. Yes, because yeah. because in the platform, what what they are testing is that you know how how it is said in the spoken English, right? Lo voy a decir en español. Muchas veces en la plataforma eh, se nos pide que lo hagamos contractado porque es la forma como se habla, ¿sí? Eh, para que nosotros de alguna manera sepamos que también así se, se, se dice, ¿verdad? But what I say is that when you're writing a formal document, like an email or a letter, you should try to write in the full form, ¿ok? Ok. Cuando estemos, ok, you're welcome. Eh, para que nos quede clarito todo, cuando estemos escribiendo documentos formales como correos o cartas, procuremos utilizar la forma completa porque es la formal. The contracted form is the way we speak, ok? Eh, if, you, if you listen an American or a Canadian, they are not going to say, yes, they are. No, they say, no, they say, yes, they are. Or no, they aren't, right? Only in the um, British English, they speak like this way. Yes, they are. No, they are not. They speak like fool, right? They don't use uh, much con contractions, right? But in the American English, yes, they use a lot of contractions. Okay, so that's why in the platform they evaluate that way. Okay, I, I would like that you can take a picture of this, please. And I'm going to send it to you right now in order that we can continue practicing in our groups. So if you can take a picture for me, it's going to be okay. I'm going to send you now. Just let me see what happened with my camera that it doesn't look so okay, much better. Okay, so I'm going to send it to you right now. And I'm going to, um, Conform the groups in order that you can go to the breakout rooms to practice. Remember that the idea here is not only that you can write, but also that you can speak, okay? That's the idea. So let me... Okay. okay. So did you receive the, did you receive the document? Can you confirm, please, in the WhatsApp group? ¿Recibieron todos la imagen en el grupo de WhatsApp para quienes no la han tomado? Yeah. Okay, yeah. excellent. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to do the breakout rooms now. And I invite you to please join, okay?
we will have five minutes for this activity. So we are going to come back at 8.21, the most 8.22, okay? If you have questions, I will be ready attending your questions in any group. Okay, please join. Okay, Lila, do you have a problem by joining the group? And Laura, did you receive the invitation? ¿Recibieron la invitación? No, tengo problema con el internet, se me corta. Okay, okay, let's do, let's do this. You can continue here in the classroom and maybe you can work together um, with, uh, okay, now you're only you. Okay, if you want to, if you don't want to move to the breakout room because of your internet, you can stay here in the room, but please try to, to work on the sentences, right? Si tiene dificultades con el internet, no se preocupe. Puede quedarse en el salón principal y puede eh, trabajar las, las estructuras que hemos mandado, ¿verdad? I will just move around. Me voy a estar moviendo del salón principal porque voy a visitar a los grupos. I, I'm, go, I'm going to, to see, to check the groups. So I'm going to come back in a minute. Tom is happy. Yeah. Alexa? Is... No. ¿Por qué es en tercera persona? Sí, sí, sí. Sería is. Yes, that's right. I'm is glad you're working. Is Tom... No. Tom is happy, Miss. Yes, you have to look for the personal pronoun, right? So you write because uh, for Tom, uh, who is he, we use is, right? Is Tom happy? Right? Is and then Tom you provide the answer. Yes, he is. Or no, he's not. Right? Or he isn't. So it's the same for she, right? And for it. But for you and for we, you have to use are. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. See you in a minute. Okay. Una pregunta, compañeros. Compañeros, una pregunta. Es... Diga. Hablemos. Sería de formular una pregunta. Sí. Sería de formular una pregunta. De eso se trata. Hello. Así es. Eh, me Hello. Hello. Sí. You have to formulate the question and then the affirmative and the negative answer. Okay. Since you have five, okay. you can divide uh, one each person and or two each person. And let's see, one person maybe will have only one because the first one is already sold. Okay? okay. So the idea is that you can work and that you can join at the end your results. Okay? Or you can do it collect collectively, right? You can say which do you think is correct. And then at the end, you will have five, five, um, I mean, difficulty is already solved, okay? Okay, thank you. Excellent, see you in a minute. Hello, hello, hola, hola. Como vamos? How is it going? Have you been able to work by yourself? Can you hear me? Let me chat, let me chat with you, okay? So let me send you a Okay. 
Okay. Que no es is it's your birthday. Hello. Es como... It is your birthday. Eh, ah, teacher, teacher. Hello. Hello. Eh, en la question yes. donde está el it your birthday, eh, lo podemos usar para una mascota, ¿cómo sería? Is, uh, let's see the name of the, of the little pet. Let's see. Is um, Canelita's birthday, right? Ah. Is it, is yes. it? Yes, is it is Canela's birthday? Uh, is Canela's birthday? Pero aparece el it ahí. Ah, porque Pero it is porque lo que estamos preguntando es si es es tu cumpleaños, ¿sí? Entonces sería yes, solo, solo is sería it, is it is, is it, it your birthday? Be... La pregunta es is it your birthday? ¿Es tu cumpleaños? ¿Sí? Correcto, correcto. Lo que la compañera quiere hacer es una oración diferente. Por ejemplo, yo digo, today is Canelita's birthday. Entonces ya sabemos que Canelita es el pet, ¿verdad? Nuestro perrito. Ah, ok. Perrita. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, Thank you're you. welcome. Okay. See you. See you in a minute, ok? Ok. It is... Ejercicio nada más. Hello, hello. How is it going? ¿Cómo vamos? Only, only exercise. Only complete the sentence. Excellent, excellent. I'll call you back in a couple of minutes, ¿ok? One minute. Ok, thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Bye. 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 En lo positivo. En no, negativo. She's, no, she is not. Uh -huh. Oh, she's not. Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. she's not. Uh, sí. No, she isn't. Hello, Correcto. how is it going? Are you about to finish? No, uh, question three. Okay, don't worry if you don't complete all of the question, okay? We okay. are going to go back like a uh, minute and a half, and then we will continue discussing until the the number you have already finished. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. See you. You're welcome. Thank See you. you. Hello, help. hello. How is hello. it going? Are you about to finish? We need your help. Yes, <laughs> tell me, tell me. In How the, can I help in, you? In the literal six, uh, in your birthday. Ah, yeah. It's like, uh, is, is it your birthday? Is it your birthday? Okay. Yes, because I'm asking you, is it your birthday? Is it your birthday? Yes, it is or no? It yes, isn't. it is or no, it isn't. Okay, thank yeah. you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> See you in a minute. It's a, okay? it's a big help for us. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Little yes. by little, we learn, okay? Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome back. I hope that all of you have participated in the groups. I went to see and all of you were actively uh, talking each other. So I like that, okay? Uh, so let me um, continue uh, and let me see who would like to participate and who will, who will say which, um, at least one, okay? So who wants to start? Let's see. Volunteers. Vamos a ver los equipos. Let's see, let's see. Eh, puedo decir la segunda. 
Eh, Tom, eh, excuse me, I couldn't hear. No pude escuchar bien, perdón. ¿Puedo decir la segunda? Yes, yes, you can do it. The second one from Tom. Okay. Um, is this Tom happy? Is Tom happy? Right? So, oops, excuse me. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it is not. In this case, it's he, right? Remember that Tom is a boy. So we say, is, is Tom happy? Uh-huh. Yes, okay. So we say, yes. Yes. He is, right? Excellent. Uh -huh. Yes, he is. Okay, yes, he is. And the negative? No. He's. He, he isn't. isn't. He isn't. Now let's let's go. He No, okay. he isn't. No, he isn't. Okay, perfect. Okay, next. Who would like to do number three? Let's see. I need a volunteer for number three. She at home. So who is going to going to be the answer? I mean the question. Uh, are she at home? Is remember that for she we use is right. Is, is she, she at home? Is she at home? Okay, excellent. So since this is a question, I have always to add a question mark, okay? okay? So don't forget, please don't forget the question mark. Okay, and the answer, what about the answer? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay, and what about the negative? No, she is. Okay, no. She isn't or, she, or she's not, but in this case, let's use the contracted form. Okay, let's see, number, I need a volunteer for number four. So who would like to? Okay, you bored. So how, how it could be the question? Mm -hmm. You, which form of the verb to be do we use for you? Am, um, is, or are? Are. Okay, so are. You're, you're bored. Are you bored? Okay, estás aburrido? What about the, the affirmative sentence? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, you I can am. say, yes, I am, right? Yes, I am. And what about the negative? No, I'm not. No. No, I am not. Or, ya dijimos que esta no la podemos contratar, ¿verdad? Sería, no, I am not. En todo caso, podríamos decir, no, I'm not. Okay. What about number five? Volunteer for number five? I am. We at the cinema. How, how would okay. be the question? Are we at the cinema? Okay. Are we at the cinema? Yes. Yes, okay. we are. Okay. Yes. We are. We are. Just let me erase this. Okay. And what about the negative? No, we aren't. Okay. No. We aren't. Aren't. Excellent. And what about number six? No. Your birthday. Is your birthday? Is it? Uh huh. Is it your birthday? Is your birthday. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is. It is. And the negative? Uh, no, it isn't. Okay. No. Oops, excuse me. Let me erase this. Wait a minute for me, please. Okay, negative. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Okay, excellent. Congratulations, team. 
you did a great job by uh, formulating questions and also providing affirmative uh, and negative uh, yes, no answer, right? Okay, so remember that this is gonna be in the platform. In the same way, you will have some exercises there. So now you know how to answer to the platform yes, no exercises of formulating questions <coughs> and providing the answers, okay? Excellent. Now, let, let us advance. And teacher, teacher, I, I, I tengo una pregunta. Sí, adelante, please. Es, este, ¿Por qué se utiliza is, it y no um, it is en el ejercicio 6? Ah, porque estamos hablando de tu cumpleaños. Eh, es it, es, estamos hablando de el it de alguna manera eh, reemplaza al implícito eh, es la fecha de tu cumpleaños. Uh -huh. Is it your birthday? ¿Sí? Entonces el it está hablando, refiriéndose a una cosa que es tu cumpleaños. ¿sí? Is it, es como la fecha de tu cumpleaños. Is it your birthday? ¿Sí? Ah, ok, por eso se intercambian de lugar. Y se intercambia de lugar siempre que es pregunta. Perdón, voy a tomarme el tiempo de, de hacer esto eh, ahorita. Eh. Ok, vean, eh, por eso en la, en la estructura que yo les estaba explicando, les decía que en oraciones afirmativas va así. Sujeto, el verb to be y el complemento. Yes. Cuando es negativo va sujeto, Amen. verb to be, negativo, complemento. Pero cuando es pregunta, se los puse aquí en rojito, movemos el verb to be al principio. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo aquí, is it a cat? Estoy preguntando, ¿es eso un gato? ¿Sí? Is it a cat? ¿Sí? Entonces ah. es parecido a Is it your birthday? Porque estamos hablando de una cosa, ah, no. un animal, ah, okay. de algo que no es personificado. ¿Sí? Okay. Eh, por ejemplo, yeah. aquí, como estoy hablando de ella, no digo it, sino que digo Is she busy? ¿Sí? Entonces, eh, we move. We move the verb be at the beginning of the sentence, right? Am um, I a doctor? Are you correct? Is he, is he from? Is she busy? Is it a cat? Are we ready? Are you hungry? So that's the answer, my friend. But you, thank you for asking, because in that way, we, um, we uh, make sure that all of us uh, are working on the same uh, exercises. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Now, what happened with the yes, no questions with the demonstrative pronouns? If you see here, the structure of these questions is be plus the demonstrative pronoun plus object. So look here, the example. Is this a cat? Ya no digo is it. Yo digo is this a cat? Because the cat is near to me. Look, the cat is close to me. Let's imagine that the arrow is my hand. Imaginémonos que la flecha es mi mano, ¿verdad? Entonces yo digo is this a cat? Y hasta lo puedo tocar, it's ¿verdad? A cat. Remember that this is for singular close objects, right? Close object, yes. But, excuse me, but if it's more than one cat, I say, are these cats? They are close, but they are more than one. I have one, two, three, three. cats, okay? So oh, this is cats. plural, plural, yeah. cats. But for objects that are far from my hands, let's imagine that the blue far. arrow is my hand. Imaginémonos que la flecha azul es mi mano, so en, en una distancia mucho más grande, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, let's imagine that the bird is on a tree. Imaginémonos que la, el pajarito está en un árbol, ¿sí? Is that a bird? So I point out, lo señalo, ¿verdad? Porque está lejos de mí. Is that a bird? Is far. Está lejos, ¿verdad? Only one bird, far. Are those birds? One, two, three. Plural, right? Plural. But they are far. So I say, are, are those birds? In all the cases, yes it is, yes they are. Vea que en todos los casos la respuesta para el singular es yes it is, sí. Y la respuesta para los plurales, no importa si están cerca o lejos, en este caso es yes they are, sí, ¿verdad? Porque lo que estoy preguntando es, ¿son gatos? ¿Son pajaritos? Opa. Okay. Entonces vean la estructura. Be es demonstrative pronoun. This, an object, a cat. 
B are, the most of the pronoun, this, in este caso es these, object, cats. B is, the most of the pronoun, that. Pronoun object, a verb. Plus object, perdón. Verb B, are, the most of the pronoun, those. Plus oh. object, birds. Okay? So that's the structure. Let's see. Uh, the form of these questions is verb plus the most of the pronoun plus, plus objects. Examples. Is this a doll or are these dolls? Ven? Singular. Is this a doll? Utilizo is porque estoy hablando de only one doll. This. Una muñeca, ¿verdad? A doll. Pero si estoy hablando de más muñecas, more than one, I say are. Are these dolls? Right? Remember these. So plural, right? Dolls. This, remember, this, one thing near. That, one thing far. Lo que les acabo de mostrar con los gatitos y los pajaritos, ¿verdad? These, two or more things near. Those, two or more things far. Remember that cerca y far es lejos. Okay. Oh my God. So, yes, no questions with do. Ahora vamos a hablar acerca de preguntas de sí o no con el do, pero va a ser rapidito porque this is not a topic for this class, so I'm going just to show you. Eh, solo lo vamos a ver rapidito porque esto, no, digamos, no lo estamos viendo todavía, pero se los quiero mostrar. Why? Eh, we use do like the auxiliary eh, instead of be. ¿Verdad? Cuando no utilizamos el verbo to be para hacer preguntas, eh, utilizamos el auxiliar do. ¿Ok? El, el do es el verbo hacer, pero en este caso eh, se utiliza como un auxiliar. Por ejemplo, do you have an apple? ¿Tienes una manzana? Does she, en este caso para ella utilizamos has. Does she has an apple? ¿Ok? Entonces decimos, yes, yeah, she does, sí. Ella tiene una manzana o no, she doesn't. No, no tiene, ¿verdad? Do you have an apple? Yes. Um, yes, I do, ¿verdad? Or yes, we do. ¿Sí? Sí, te, sí tengo o tenemos, ¿verdad? Eh, y negativo, no, we don't. No tenemos. Okay? So, uh, in, in, future, in future, we are going to study this, uh, this verb uh, with more time. But I just wanted to show you. For example, you can say, do you have a dog? Yes, I do. ¿Tienes un perro? Sí. Or no, I don't. No, no tengo, ¿verdad? Does he have... Aquí, um, como estamos utilizando el auxiliar does, el verbo se queda igual, ¿verdad? Eh, does he have a dog? Yes, he does. Ya cuando respondemos, respondemos con eh, does, ¿verdad? Does he have a dog? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, ¿verdad? So, but I'm going to, I'm not going to stop too much here. No me voy a detener mucho acá porque este tema lo vamos a desarrollar detenidamente después, ¿ok? But look, I have an example here. Do you speak Spanish? ¿Hablas español? Esa es una pregunta también de sí o no. Which are the possible answers? Las posibles respuestas solo son yes, I speak Spanish. Or no, I don't speak Spanish, right? For example, here. No, I speak Portuguese and English. Are you from Portugal? No, I am from Brazil. Wow, are you a student? No, I'm a writer. How about you? Do you speak Spanish? Yes, I study Spanish. Have you been to Spain? No, but I went to Mexico last year. Do you drive to work? No. I usually take the train. Sorry. How long does it take? It usually takes about a hour. Wow, do, we, do, do you read the train? Do you read on the train? Es como lees cuando estás en el tren, ¿verdad? Do you read on the train? No, I usually listen to music. How about you? Ese how about you es, ¿y tú? Do you drive to work? ¿Manejas para tu trabajo? No, I take the bus. Do you read on the bus? Yes, I read a lot of books. Okay, so. 
And I would like to ask, do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí acerca de yes, no questions. Uh, for, um, for, let's see. For demonstrative pronouns, tenemos hasta aquí preguntas, eh, digamos, de respuestas sí o no, eh, respuestas cortas sí o no, eh, utilizando los demonstrative pronouns. No, no, teacher. no. Okay, okay. <coughs> so I'm going to stop sharing and just wait for me a minute. Wait a minute, no let that. I can start my, my presentation. Uh, we are going just to introduce next class because we won't have enough chance to do the exercises, but it's going to be okay to start because we need to advance, okay? So let me share with you. As I said before, in the class objective, uh, we are going to study prepositions, okay? So just let me introduce and say that, uh, what is a preposition? A preposition is a word that uh, shows the relation between a noun, a pronoun, or some other words or elements in the rest of the sentence. Some examples of prepositions are with, con, at, a, verdad, o en, from, de, desde, into, hacia, verdad, during, Durante, including, incluyendo, until, hasta, about, acerca de, like, como. Eh, like es un verbo, ¿verdad? Que significa gustar, pero también se utiliza como preposition, que significa, she is like me, my daughter is like me, mi hija es como yo, o se parece a mí, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí, <coughs> perdón, se está utilizando como preposition. Over, sobre, before, antes, between, entre, o en medio de, ¿verdad? Including, incluyendo, after, después, de, except, excepto, but, pero, up, hacia arriba, out, afuera, around, alrededor, down, hacia abajo, off, eh, como apagado o también fuera, ¿verdad? So in this case, uh, let's continue with the birds and the cats, okay? So look here, in this drawing we say the bird is over the box, right? Eh, sobre, but if you see over, es sobre pero no encima, ¿verdad? Look, there's a small distance. The Hay una pequeña eh, distancia, ¿verdad? The bird is among the cats. Look at the bird, the bird is here and there are some cat cats around the bird, okay? but the bird is among the cats. The bird is near the cat, near, right? The bird is down the tree. The bird is far from the cat. They, so far is the opposite of near, right? The bird is go past the tree, okay? So that's another preposition. So let's see here the cats. The cat the cat is on the box, in this case, on, on the surface, right? The cat is touching the surface of the box. The cat is in the box, in, in the box, right? The cat is next to or beside the box, right? Next to or beside, they are synonyms. The cat is in front of the box, in front, right? The, oops, excuse me. The cat is behind. Excuse me here, there's a mistake. Okay. The cat is behind the box. You can say behind. Sometimes you will listen that they say behind or behind. Both are correct. Depends if it is American English or British English, right? The cat is between the boxes, between, right? So the cat, let me show you. The cat is here, between the boxes. The cats are around the boxes, right? In this, in this case, it's only one box, so it should say 
the cat is around the box, okay? So the idea is that the cats are in a position related to the cat, to the box, okay? So here in the last one, the cats are around the box, the box, because there's only one box, okay? In here, the cat, look, the cat is here. The cat is through the box. It means it's like passing through, right, the box. In here, the cat is under the box, right? Under the box. Okay, <laughs> basically in a platform, we are going to work with three prepositions. Uh, they are prepositions of time, but later you will notice that they are also, also prepositions of uh, place. So when we talk about prepositions of time, we say on time, on Monday, on the 25th of December, on Christmas Day, at, at Christmas, at the end of the month, at the weekend, at 10 o'clock, in, in summer, in 2020, in the morning, evening, or in the morning or in the evening, in a few days. So you may say, teacher, but how do I will remember what's the difference of on, at, in? Okay, I know. So I have this, this chart for you. I love this chart because in this chart I can explain you the difference. In is like general, right? Uh, remember that in, on, and at both can be prepositions of time, but also they are prepositions of place, right? So for example, excuse me, just let me move this here. Okay, when, when we use in, for example, as preposition of time, we use it for saying centuries. We say in the 19s, in the 19s, for, to talk about decades, the 90s, to talk about years, in 1990, in 2000, to talk about months in May, in October, to talk about weeks in five weeks, to talk about seasons in spring, to talk about periods of time in the future, to talk about holidays in the Easter holiday, to talk about parts of the day in the morning. And this same preposition in can be used to talk about place or place or places. For example, uh, countries in El Salvador, cities in San Salvador, neighborhood in Alta Vista, uh, or to talk about enclosed spaces in a car. So it means that you have like edges. So the object is in a, a specific thing or period of time or a specific country or a specific city, right? So, uh, but if you want to be more specific, you say on, right? And on is for smaller places. For example, we use on to say holidays with the word day. Uh, for example, on Easter day, on Monday, on April, for dates, on April the 17th. 17th. On a specific days, on my birthday, for a specific time on the weekend, for um, a specific uh, day and part of the day. For example, on Sunday morning, we go to church on Sunday morning, for example. What about places? We use on to talk about streets, streets on the Golden Street. The accident was on the Golden Street. Um, the police was on the Roosevelt Avenue, right? Avenues. Dates, again, uh, excuse me, <laughs> this is from the other. Uh, surfaces, on the floor, means of transport, on a bus, means of communication, on the radio. And we use at for very specific uh, um, dates or for a smallest uh, places. For example, we use for hours. Uh, we say at 8 a.m. or at 9 p.m. The English class starts at 8 p.m., right? Uh, from Monday to 
uh, Thursday to talk about parts of the day at midnight, okay? I go to bed at midnight to talk about time at the moment. Uh, Mr. Lewis is not in his office at the moment. Holidays without the word days, we say at Easter time or at Easter. And for places, uh, we use at to give specific, very specific or smallest addresses. For example, 456 Colonia La Mascota. This is a very specific location. address. A specific location. The station uh, or the bus, uh, or she's waiting for me at the bus uh, stop uh, uh, from El Salvador del Mundo. Okay, so I'm, I'm giving a very, very specific location, okay? So in this way, we can use in, on, and at as prepositions of time, but also as prepositions of place. Okay, here we have more prepositions oh, for you. On, this is the green object regarding to the blue one, to the blue surface. In, from, into, down through, in front of, behind, along, past, across, up, out of, to or towards, onto, towards. off, onto. near, off. I mean, not far from, not far from, far from. Far this from. preposition uh, have different uh, possibilities. For example, at, by, beside, beside. Next, next to. to. This is near, near, across from, across from, or opposite, opposite, between, between, turn right, turn right, around the corner, around the corner, under, yeah. under, under. Over. over, over, among, among. among. in the middle of, in the middle of, turn in left, turn left, on the right, on the right. right. Above. above, below, below, straight ahead. Way we head. On the left. On the left. Around. Around. Against. Again. Okay. So now we have we will have a conversation, but I'm not sure if we are going to be able to um I'm not sure if we are going to be able to complete. So let me let me explain how is the activity about, okay? So, uh, okay. The, it says discuss the questions below with your At partner. Time. What time it do is. you get? What time do you usually get up in the morning? What time do you usually go to work or or school? If you go to school. At what time? Oops, excuse what me. You? What do you usually do on weekday afternoons? Do you always eat lunch at noon? What do you usually eat? Do you ever take a nap in the afternoon? Why or why not? Is your birthday in June? If no, when is your birthday? Excuse me. What do you like to do what to relax like at that time? Relax. Can you remember what you did on Tuesday afternoon? Can you remember what you did this day afternoon? Did then you, you say, um, you say, uh, do you ever go skiing in winter? Why or why not? What time do you usually go to sleep at night? Okay, so the, that are the questions, but uh, because of the time, I just will uh, take a picture and I would like that you can read these questions and tomorrow we are going to uh, work um, on this conversation in a breakout rooms, okay? So I would like to ask you if you have questions. Do you have questions so far about these prepositions? Tenemos preguntas hasta ahora en relación al uso de, bueno, son varias preposiciones, ¿verdad? Yo sé que son varias y que maybe it's not easy to, to remember all of them, but you have to learn them. But we are going to just focus on at, in, on. ¿Verdad? Nos vamos a enfocar en tres. At, in, on, ¿ok? So in the oh, platform, okay, okay. you are going to be evaluated in for these three prepositions. Okay? Les he dado muchas más, pero de momento nos vamos a concentrar en at, in, on. At, in, on. Oh, porque okay. son las que nos van a estar evaluando en la plataforma. 
So, okay. do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas? No, teacher. No, no teacher. teacher. No? Ok, eh, mañana ready. vamos a seguir, ¿verdad? Mañana vamos a completar el ejercicio. Eh, también le voy a pedir right. if you can take a picture of this. Si podemos tomar una imagen también de esa. Ok. Please. Just now. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. So, uh, in this other exercise, what you have to do is to answer according to the right preposition. For example, here, just to remind you, it says at night, at 10.30, at noon or midday, at midnight, at their time, at sunrise, at sunset, at the weekend. Okay? In the UK, vean, in the UK, ellos dicen at the weekend. Pero in the US, ellos dicen on the weekend. Entonces hay que considerar esas pequeñas diferencias como el behind y behind, ¿verdad? Las pronunciaciones que a veces cambian un poquito. Mm -hmm. okay. Tenemos in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in February, in the spring, in the summer, in the fall or autumn, in the winter, in 2013, in the 1990s, in a few minutes, on Sunday, on Monday morning, on Tuesday afternoon, on Wednesday evening, on my birthday, on a holiday, on Christmas day, on May the 5th, on weekday, on time, on weekend. Okay, so I would like that you can complete this 15 using at, in, on, okay? Okay. Thank you, thank you for very coming. Thanks. I'm very, very glad to have you here and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Be safe very and teacher. please advance to the platform as much as you Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Bye. 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 Bye.